How's it going, Pisces? Here is your horoscope for the forthcoming year. I see a charity shop featuring in your life in January. Perhaps the purchase of an interesting book? Or maybe you become homeless and need some cheap clothes. Around the 5th of February, you are confused by the sudden appearance of a radish in your sock drawer. About the same time, a chance meeting with a teacher leads to a new job. On meeting you, she decides to push her career in education to one side to concentrate on working with people with mental or antisocial behavioural problems such as yourself. In mid-April, there seems to be a lot of head scratching. This could be down to nits or simply dandruff. In June, you are knocked down on a zebra crossing by a black BMW X5. You sue, but when the case comes to court, you lose, as a loophole in the law proves beyond reasonable doubt that not only do BMW X5 drivers own the road, they actually own the pedestrian crossings and pavements as well. You are charged with trespassing and are fined £500 with £200 costs. Incidentally, indicators are to become optional extras on future manufactured X5s as they are rarely used. A hunt for a birthday present for a special friend or loved one in August ends in success in an expensive jewellers in Knightsbridge where you find the perfect gift, an umbrella a customer has left behind and it looks almost new. It has been a while since anyone started a new religion. You spot a gap in the market and start a cult of brown bread worshippers. Hovis witnesses could catch on and become worldwide, so be prepared to lead your disciples. What might help if you're feeling slightly low is to get out in the garden or countryside and appreciate nature. Alternatively, a good porno film might do the trick. You're restless and fidgety, and wondering perhaps if it is stress, hormonal imbalance, or an allergic reaction. The truth is revealed, however, when you discover you have crabs. You are unpopular in December when you drop a hot cup of tea on a friend's baby. You joke that you always seem to be accident prone when you see this friend, as last time you visited, you ran over her cat. As for love, Love thy neighbour, they say. If you live next door to a farm, you might be in with a chance. Lucky number, 14 million point two. Lucky animal, the sheep, which symbolises compassion, devotion, a good stew and a warm jumper.